This probably was so far the most revealing of the episodes so far in Spider. It really is because it just all fall apart for the world being devastated to did um, Komoko kill Shun's brother Julius and what happened to Faye as well. It's just all falling apart all down onto me as I was watching the show, like, wait, this happened? That happened? So let's talk about things with Komiko first. And how she connects to the outside world and what she's going through her, through the dungeon. So, as we notice, the church wants to kill people who reach, who do taboo skills. And I think this is the reason why. There, there has to be a reason, not just because it's sinful or anything like that. The church, in a way, acts like that world's government. You could say that. So, this is the reason why they went on reaching the taboo skill. Because they'll find out the truth of the world. And I bet people in the past would cause wide panic or something like that. And it seems like what Kamoko was reading is that the world was destroyed over and over again. Or is it a repeat loop? I'm not quite sure, but just know that the world's um, devastation is inevitable. Is bound to happen. So she wants to get strong. Whether or not she can stop it or not. She just wants to get strong so she can at least survive it. And the first step to do that is to fight Arba. The most strongest creature so far. Inside the entire dungeon. And this thing is very powerful. Even when she was running away and hiding from a giant purple snake. The snake was easily defeated by the earth dragon. We've been seeing more earth dragon than any other kind of dragon in this entire show. When you think about it, we haven't seen any other kind of dragon. I guess the area is mostly um, habitated by those kind of dragons. It makes sense, I guess. But that being said, um, it is strange, though, that she got this new skill called Rot. But however, her skill has, uh, you know, a little... What's that word? Uh, uh, Pushback, pullback, something. But it, it, it also affects the user as well. So she didn't want to use it. But remember, that skill rot. So she's trained, become stronger, do what she can. And even when she's looking at Arba fighting and feasting, she blushes. She blushes and she is like, wow, um, I admire that. That is beautiful. You are something I wish to become. As you can see, she is slowly, slowly getting into her monster instincts. You know, she isn't just, you know, she may have her human brain, but those instincts are very strong. You know, they, they kick in. She's having those things where she's just eating any kind of creature so naturally. She's completely used to the taste of any kind of monster, whether it's a bug or a monkey a fish, dragon, snake, whatever it is, she is completely used to it now. And now she's on her way to fight the dragon. Okay, I can't wait for that fight. I right, see how it how it goes down. Now let's talk about the thing with Shun. First of all, with Faye, where since Shun's not a new hero, he left school for a month already, and Faye said, "Hey, let's make a contract." So they did, but. She's evolving back into an egg. I'm guessing she that's how they evolve. Instead of growing like you see in Pokemon or Digimon, you, just, you see the glow of light or you see them spinning around like Digivolve into. Nope. They go back into an egg and they'll probably reform into a different kind of shape and form, which is pretty more logical than spinning around or turning into a shape of light and growing. It makes more sense. Then, of course, the only one who survived was the guy at the shield, and he explained what happened. It seems like they were winning until someone in pure white came along and completely changed the battlefield, killed Shun in the party, and he was the only one who survived thanks to the phoenix feather he had that was supposed to be his brother Julius, but Julius gave it to him instead. So that's the only reason why he's alive. But apparently, she used a rot skill. The person in white, and a lot of people have been spectating, have I've been spectating, that the person in white could be Komoko. 
that could be it. It's just so much spoilers, you know, like I said, with the opening and also with, um, it just, it feels like it's Komoko. And that's, as that is, that we kind of messed up. Komoko killed Shun's brother and stuff, you know. It seems like Komoko has this indirect connection to Shun when you really think about it, you know. The, the spider silk that Julius was having on him, the egg that Faye hatched out of, even fighting with party members that are connected to Shun's family. Even that one wizard we saw last episode. Seems like she has some sort of indirect connection with Shun. And it makes you wonder, will the two face each other and fight? You know? But it's going to be more like she's going to be fighting Faye and Shun's going to be fighting the, that new demon lord. That's how it really feels like, in my opinion. That would be pretty interesting. But then again, this entire shocking revelation of the world. What I think about the thing of the world is that I'm guessing it saw us in many times before. And it keeps restarting itself over and over again. And each time, the devastation is different. Question is, will it stop when you prevent it the first time? We'll have to wait and see. But that's just my theory, you know. So those are my two theories. The woman in white is Komoko outside the dungeon. And the earth itself is, keeps getting destroyed over and over again. And it re, re, re um, populates itself as time goes on. Those are my two theories. And I think they're pretty decent, you know. It's a possibility. I could be totally wrong, but those are the point of theories. So anyways, I think I, that's where I'm going to leave it here for today. Very interesting, a lot of shocking reveals and things I'm trying to put together to see where the show goes from here on out. You know, you know, we're finally reaching that midpoint until we get into the second part of the season. Seems like this show isn't going to do the, you know, the the, the second part will be on another season, but just going to do the full thing, which is I'm kind of glad because I need something that keeps going onward. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so that's what I'm going to leave it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell icon. This has been Macron on Metamate. Signing out.